Welcome to Hashtag Hash. In this video, we are going to see how to set up Gradle with your own repository or with your procs. Let's say you have a sample Spring Boot Gradle application with you or you are just going to build a brand new Java Spring Boot. In order to download the packages, we need to tell Gradle download for via this proxy or download from this own custom, maybe your company using JFrog or Nexus repository. So we need to tell Gradle download from here. Let's get started. Here, this is the application. Uh, given the GitHub link in this video description, clone it and try to run it using the normal grid. L boot run. So I'm trying to run this Spring Boot application using the Gradle. And you can see the Gradle is not recognized because in this machine, I don't have the Gradle installed. So in order to install the Gradle, you can download Google it. You can install the Gradle and you just go to this blog. There is a section called install manually. This is the latest version 7.6. Just go to the complete version and you can see the download is starting. So once you get downloaded, extract the folder. I prefer to save my Gradle packages in the C colon and I have my custom folder called uh, software development tools, SW tools. Just go here. I already pasted here and if you go inside there is a folder called bin copy this location and now go to the windows and uh, search for environment variables and there will be two options one to set up the environment variable for your own account or set global one so I prefer to go with uh, for your account and just edit the path just add the location that is bin location. Click on OK and OK. And just for a test, where I from B. Now you can see the Gradle is installed. So now let's set up the Gradle with the proxy. There are a couple of ways to set up the proxy. Uh, one is like the application level or the global level. I prefer to go with the global level. Let's say you are using the custom Nexus or J4 repository and there's a proxy repository asking for your username and password. We cannot connect our own username and password for every application. So that will be a huge change if you change your password. So better just uh, try to set up in the global level. Go to the C users and your username. And that you can find a folder called dot gradle. I just go here and just open the notepad we need to create a new file and here we need to define the proxy settings I already have a noted down so this is the file I given this complete file in the video description the system prop is a Gradle owns property variable not HTTP and HTTPS and you have to set up the proxy host, your company host data, I mean, proxy details, username and password. Then uh, let's, this is only for to connect with the internet. Let's say if your company has your own repository, they are maintaining your Nexus or JFrog, then we need to enter that URL and it's your username and password if it's asking. So just copy. Save type as select as our types and name this file as gradle.properties so once you created the gradle.property files it will be available for your entire gradle session and you can other than uh, the gradle own properties whatever the custom variables that you're creating it you can able to use it in your applications so i have my sample application here it's a simple spring boot application where this is the place we need to tell gradle use this proxy or use this URL to download the packages. So first thing we need to define as the Maven local. So if it's, you have the cached the packages or dependencies, it will be downloaded from there. Uh, if it's uh, your own Nexus repository is available, then we need to enter this Maven and credentials, username and password. And this Nexus username and password, we can able to fetch it from the Gradle property file and this URL. URL is the where that you define here. It's an access URL. 
and the last but not least is the maven center so if the package is not available in the maven local or if the package is not available in your company's repository and it will try to download from the maven the main repository with the proxy on the command a new session and uh, try to run it in gradle bootstrap you can see the packages are getting downloaded there you go now the application is getting started yeah. application start or now go to the local host Well done. So now the application is working fine. So the Gradle boot run command is for the first time only uh, in order to download the packages. So once the dependencies are get downloaded successfully, then from the next time onwards, we can start use Gradle boot run iPhone offline. We don't want to download the dependencies again and again because it's already downloaded and it may cause the execution time slower. So just add an argument after the boot and call iPhone FN offline. So it will refer the locally downloaded dependencies and will start the application very fast. Application started successfully. Now if you go and refresh, you can see the still local 8080 is listening to the same the Spring Boot application. I have committed this entire source code in the GitHub. I just pasted this GitHub location in the video description. Uh, you can start cloning and you can start to set up. Let me know in the comments if you have any SSL issue or, or any other issues.